Uh, we've got a couple little items we need to take care of right away, or not right away, one of the first thing in here. Uh, if you go back to those fee adjustment sheet before we do this, we mark that back. Remember the, when the Paul went over these fee adjustments on these different items here, we need to determine if we're going to adopt those fee adjustments. Move to adopt all four of those things. We've got a motion by Councilor Gilmore to adopt the fee adjustments that we'll do. Second by Councilor Thorne, do you have any discussion? Yes, one of them. Go ahead first. On the uh, animal permit fee, that's per property, not per animal. Correct.
where it's uh, increased to 176745 uh, over the 10-11 budget. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind if you look at the fund summary on the hotel motel fund, we do actually have an offset to the revenue because you'll remember we have a contract with the Hilton Garden on the Convention Center and we pay them a, a management fee. The way we pay that is they first pay us the hotel motel tax and we refund that hotel motel tax back to them up to a maximum of 300000 and we are at that maximum of 300000 that actually will go away in 2022, and it starts dropping off about 2016. And by 2022, it's at 50,000, so it is a declining um, a decrease over time. Interest earnings, as Gina mentioned uh, earlier, are fairly pathetic. They're estimated at 8,114. Total revenue, again, at 1,442,000. We do have a 2.9% increase in our expenditures. This is due in large to our very big electric bill from the NCO brand. So we're actually, uh, we, we added 50,000 in the hotel motel um, to help cover the electric cost. We're also paying 73,000 or 25,000 in the general fund. So it's a total of 150,000 for electricity to run out facility. So we are looking at that pretty closely to see if there are ways to try to bring that down, but it is an expensive building to run from a utility standpoint. Uh, this fund also had to increase what we mentioned earlier, the increased cost of PRS and health insurance. Um, and the other major change that we have in the base is we are proposing that the Visitor Information Center that's now located down on Main Street, the storefront on Main Street, we are recommending that that go away and that that storefront actually be moved to the Art Center. And that does a couple of things for us. One, uh, it takes that staff person that's in the Visitor Information Center and puts them in the Art Center, where we badly need some support staff. So we get that benefit. Plus, what a, one thing we've seen since we moved into Main Street, we don't have nearly the walk through traffic that we had when we were closer uh, to the interstate had visibility. So, the way that works, the state says, if you have at least 50,000 people walk through your facility in a year, you might get interstate signage. So every person then that walks through the art center we can count towards visitor information uh, visits. So we're hoping that maybe eventually we'll be able to get some uh, interstate signage. Is that the office location going to be there on the south side of the building next to the art gallery? Yes. Uh, Sure. What we would do, if you, if you look at the theater, there's kind of little cubby hole spaces on both sides of the theater. Yes. And we envision that we'll have some, some sofas and stuff there, and probably people will sure rats in there because they look pretty nice there. Um, and so and then the clerical person would go in the admin offices. <coughs> great. That, that, that is a great, that's a great idea. And that's say it was 30000 to get rid of the leases. Now, we would still have the leases. They're in that other building uh, off of Main where the professional staff is. Oh, there's not room for them in the art center. Unless you were to go to the other classrooms and really don't want to do that. Okay, arts funding is again budgeted at $154,831. Uh, we did have uh, seven applicants for this funding, and six groups are receiving funding in the next year's budget. And I do just want to remind you that there is a 15% cap. Uh, under state law uh, related to the arts. So under the from hotel motel, only 260,000 can be spent on the arts. So the money budgeted for marketing the arts is 11,747. Again, there's the Arts Center of Electricity at 50,000. And then the arts groups takes us up to 216,578. So we're getting fairly close to our 50 Special events is a, a, another major area of funding in the Hotel Motel Fund. These are the events that are now funded strictly through Hotel Motel. Holiday at the Hall, the Western Day, Keeping the Tradition Alive, Firefighter Olympics, Saddle Club Rodeo, the Fall and Summer Entertainment in the Old Town area. Now, one thing you won't see there is the Farmer's Market. So that is not in your base budget. Um, I, I will tell you from 
the staff point, I think we've had some real difficulties in finding farmers and being able to run that event efficiently and effectively. Uh, and so the staff recommendation would be to back off of that event until perhaps the park closet is built and then we can look at some other form of an event down there. Is that firefighter or the event is not an area of The firefighter Olympics, no, it's not. No. Uh, we, we got to do this next year, but we have to bid on it to get the fire out of the That's correct. So total special <coughs> events budget in the hotel motel fund is three hundred and three thousand one sixty, and that is thirty percent of your the personnel that are in this particular fund, uh, that would be a portion of James Cunty, our Community Relations and Tourism Director. We do have two sales, uh, tourism sales coordinators, those are the people that go out and bring uh, conferences to the convention center. Uh, we have a tourism specialist, a tourism secretary, that's the one we would be moving over to the Arts Center. Uh, and a publication specialist. How do you get the point two for? Uh, the, the point two for uh, point three two for Cunningham? No. How do you get the point two first? I can see where you could have a point three and point seven. That person would get thirty two hundred times. Where does it get that up to two percent? Thirty two point thirty two. I don't know. <laughs> 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 That's just when somebody else lends a hand.
Well, I, I, you're, you're right, but it's where you know, people go uh, you know, shopping for your low cost vegetables. Uh, actually, I do it, you do it online. Yeah, yeah. and then they get it. And it's a, it's a good plan also. But there's a lot of other different programs out there that don't take tax dollars. But uh, Gilmore's correct, it is good. Um, uh, did you make the motion for those two items? The <coughs> moving of the uh, CBB uh, storefront to the art center and the funding of the farmers market. Unless you guys want to do that as separate votes. I would like to have the farmers market to, to not be funded for the upcoming year, but the, the state that we're suspending it waiting for the uh, park project to be completed. <coughs>
looking at the actual dollars we spent on staffing since we've had this fund and recognizing that we could actually lower that part-time funding. So that's your reduction of 14300 Now the ball field maintenance has increased 210452 And I will tell you that increase is, is due, I think, in total to high, high utilization of railroad work. Uh, so what we did here, we actually added three new maintenance workers to try to keep up with the workload at Railroad Park. Uh, in addition, we have some turf replacement and we have increased electrical costs at Railroad Park. So it's, it's had, having major impacts, but that's good because it means lots of people are using and enjoying that park. Uh, debt service is up uh, 2,685. Administration is flat. That's a fee that we charge the OB fund for my services and Gina's services and the finance department services that we get that separate corporation. Um, you pretty much are, sir. Should we attend those people? I do. Oh. I do. One meeting we have a year, I'm, I'm there. Uh, again, uh, under expenditures, admin costs includes 500 for the park training and annual indirect cost <coughs> to the general fund. That's 60000 And what I've already said about railroad park, the use is very, very high. And uh, so it, it's, it's costing us some additional money. The one-time funding and transfer out uh, at our uh, pool on Valley Parkway, we are replacing the baby well. Sorry, that's 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 I, I, I knew you did. I'm, I'm sorry. But we are replacing the baby well uh, for $12,800, and we are continuing the uh, transfer to capital improvement for future repayment of the product that's something later we're going to do last year, so we're continuing that. Under the uh, debt service, you remember we've had two major debt issuances uh, through the 4B fund. The first one was for the library and the pools and land. That's 20 year debt, and that debt service payment is 1,673. And then the second one was for Railroad Park, that's 25 year debt, and the first payment, or the first payment, the payment is 1,225.
black and white issue yet next year. So uh, it's, it's important to remember that we have that authority and that we uh, are continuing to, to plan to use it. We have not built the public safety training facility at the 1.3 million. Uh, the rest of that would be all in the street area. Obviously, we built the jail. That uh, authority is gone. Debt service for the 11 12 is budgeted at 8.6 million. That does include the transfer from utility fund where we converted those revenue bonds to zero. <coughs> uh, and again, uh, issuance of 11 12 is to be decided. The issue debt in 11 12, that debt actually fits. Yes, in the fire range. 
So it is already underway, and this will actually convert the remaining facilities. One-time expenditures of $144,500 to find uh, especially air conditioning units for computer rooms at both the annex and city hall facilities. Uh, especially at city hall, we actually shut down the air conditioning systems on the weekends, and we've had some uh, equipment problems on the weekends because those rooms get very hot. So these would be specialty air conditioning systems made for computer rooms. And then uh, finally, a conversion of the city hall computer room power system. I'm sure you'll agree we shouldn't have a water system in a computer room. <laughs> so we'll be changing that over to the TASI. <laughs> We talked about the HSA being added as a third plan choice earlier. Uh, 
uh, and again, uh, HRA would be the original plan, and employees that choose to stay on that plan would have a 33 to 35 percent increase in coverage cost. Uh, in addition to that, increasing cost. Uh, we are also doing a surcharge for wellness and smoking. We do require our employees to get a uh, full physical and a doctor that we contract with so that we can try to measure uh, the overall wellness and have some benchmarks every year. Uh, if you don't do that and your spouse, if you're on our plan, they don't do, do that, it's a $25 per uh, surcharge. Uh, and we also have the smoking premium, so all employees are going to send out an affidavit as to whether they use tobacco. So uh, if you're a tobacco user, you get a $25 charge per month. You're talking also chewing stuff? Yes, sir. Okay. Smoking. Yeah, that's a smoking, but it is actually tobacco. And then our catastrophic plan uh, rates are going to apply. And remember, that's all I have on the microphones. Oh, no, it's not. Before she does that, uh, with respect to the question about claims, I think that claims number did not include uh, education. Oh, it does. It does or does not include not prescription drugs? Right. I thought it did not. It does. And what number now? The $5.6 million claims was claims only, and not, not prescription drugs. I think it was prescription. And the six law 
And so it can be actually invested in perhaps somewhat more lucrative ways. That allows us to set a, a, a higher assumed investment return of 7.5%, uh, which obviously lowers the liability over time. So higher return lowers the annual ARC contribution and thunder in part for future years. Operating revenue to fund is made from the health fund, which I just talked about earlier, to cover the calculated ARC. And then we have a PAYO that's calculated for the OPEP fund, and that's transferred back to the health fund for calculated retirement funds. That is your OPEP fund. So the reason for this fund is the, the accounting and actuarial calculations that are required to establish the liability for your retiree health benefits. We do provide some degree of, of uh, contribution toward the retiree premiums. It's nowhere near full cost. In fact, these days it's well below. But we still have to account for it actuarially and in our books. So that's the reason for this kind of convoluted transfer back and forth between the OPEP and the health plan. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. Old Town TIP is our next fund. Uh, this TIP was created in 2001. Tax and financial. Um, revenue actually decreased in the TIF due to lower property values. So even though you saw our property values increasing in the TIF, they actually decreased. And when we looked at what caused that, we actually had lower property values on various properties like the hospital. Where we so we actually did have a decrease. In addition to that, under our agreement, the county participation rate uh, will be at 85% another 12 compared to the previous 90%. So total property tax revenue in the preliminary budget is 551,973. Based on the new valuation, the revenue estimate would be 474,750 using the current city and county tax rates. This is the fund that actually is paying for your art center. We issued debt in 2007 of 8.04 million. Uh, the debt payment in 11 12 is 387,779. <coughs> one concern we have about this fund is the debt payments are going to escalate over time, about 5 to 6 percent uh, in the future. And so we really do need to see some uh, increases in property value to be able to cover that debt cost, or we may have to consider some other alternatives financing or extending the life of the TERS, transfers from the debt service, or draw debts from the TERS or general funding service. So we are watching this fund very carefully uh, to make sure that we cover any future debt. Mayor, that's all I have. Oh, the one other thing to point out, the one point of hope here is that the hospital tax debt that does end in 2012, that's a pretty significant debt. So we will have that. Uh, the it's a $17 million loss from the property base.
resulting in tax increment value is one million five hundred and one. Uh, we don't really have anything budgeted at this point for this fund. Um, we did do a uh, expenditure in nine ten for two point four million for the Riverside project and road bridge. This one will actually have to pay the general fund back for that expenditure eventually. Uh, but at this point in time, we really To the extent that there's balances, then they'll, they'll have interest earnings accrued on those right now. I'm just happy that we don't have to pay yet yeah. for them to keep our accounts up. Thank 